In the 1940s and 50s during World War II, MATC provided vital training. Marianne Gross, an MATC retiree, explains. Well, we stayed in business 24 hours a day, which was uh, very unusual. In other words, if, if you needed training, we would train you in the middle of the night. We invented a lot of courses during those days. So we had people learning to do things that were needed in the war effort. Uh, the Red Cross was here giving classes in uh, nursing assistants were being trained because they needed them in different parts of the world. The increase in the number of students happened right after the war. And like in 1946, suddenly we had 4,000 veterans who were there using their GI Bill. And they developed courses that they would need to restart our industry in a peaceful economy. MATC's longest employed staff, Susan Skazny, explains how MATC met the needs of the community. It kind of shows how far we've come from back when it was decided that we needed a school like this. And over the years, it's just always met the needs. During World War II, it met the needs. And when there were a lot of women, um, displaced homemakers, we were there for that. We've always been there for what was needed at the time. MATC in some ways stays the same and of course changes with the times. The way it stays the same is that it has always maintained its focus on serving the working people and their children of this city. And I hope that that never changes. It should continue to do that for the next 200 years. At the same time, as the economy changes, so does MATC, because we train people for the jobs that exist. This is Dan Vang reporting for Stormwatch.